Jared Poland Frono's photo. Don comment. It's time for another Squarespace rapid fire critique, McCritikerson, because I wanted to do another one. But before I jump into Matthew Basenyadi's critique of his site, uh, he sent this in for a critique because I said, I want to critique your Squarespace websites. Now, a lot of you guys are probably waiting for the critiques because I got a thousand emails with basically links to critique people's Squarespaces. Now, I can hammer through a couple of week, not a couple of week, but maybe 10, 15, 20 a week by doing a couple of days. So it takes time. So please bear with me as I go ahead and get to them. It's going to take me quite a while. So bear with me. I'm going to get to it, but don't get upset if it takes a couple months to get to yours. All right. With that said, um, let's jump into Matthew Basanyadi's photo website. It says, student, photographer, assistant, an editor. Um, I mean, we're all students. I don't know that I would put student there. I don't know that I would put student there personally. I mean, yes, it's a photography website. You're an assistant. We get that. And you're an editor. But I don't know if they're sales points. I don't know if that hurts you or detract, uh, hurts you or helps you to say editor assistant, unless you're specifically looking for that. If you're specifically looking to be an assistant, then you put, hey, I'm available for being an assistant. Well, maybe you do. We'll get into the site a little more. But if you're an editor, I would want to see something here that says, works, uh, you know, hire me to edit, because this is the type of work I can do for you. So those are the, the things you may want to think about. I like the cleanliness of this site. I like how easy and simple it is to get around right off the bat. Uh, with Squarespace 7, though, they do offer that cover page. I have mine up here. It's very simple. I didn't do anything much to it other than let me in, let me in, let me in. Yeah, you got that, and you have the, the social buttons, and you basically go into my website by doing this. But I love the cover page, op page option. I would like to see Matthew do that here. I think every site should have that simple cover page. You can skip right past it if you really want after the fact, but I love what it does for you. It's a nice visual representation of your site right off the bat, big, clean, strong images. And with that said, we have the images here. You see how one's highlighted and these are dark? First off, I can't stand pictures on train tracks anymore. I don't think any pictures of anything should be taken on train tracks unless it's Thomas the Tank or or it actually makes sense in context. Having people stand on train tracks is so freaking passe. I did it when I was younger because I thought it was cool. But I'm letting you guys know that it's not cool to put people on train tracks. It just looks awkward. Um, so we're not gonna critique the photos here. Okay, I'm gonna critique this photo right here. Get You cut off her shoulder over here and you have all this dead space over here, move her into the middle. But it's a nice image. As we move through the page, it's simple. By just clicking one, it opens it or it moves to the next image. That's cool. But what I don't have on here is the ability to enlarge the images. I want to see the images full screen or much larger. Now, with some of the other templates that Squarespace has, it allows you to go ahead and do that. Make it go full screen so I can look in closer or see a thumbnail view. I'm a big fan of a thumbnail view. I'll just show you real quick when I go into mine and I click that and it loads all of these. I can do the thumbnails by hitting up and I can go through and I can see which ones I want. And then it's full screen. It's big, you know? Um, so back to the other guy. So that's what I would like to see here, but I do like that it all takes place here on the front page and it maintains the integrity of the site. And another thing with these Squarespace sites that's awesome is you can drag them and it will convert to whichever way you're looking at it. So this would be pretty cool if this was on a phone. This is probably what it would look like. I just love that it does this and it does it automatically for you. Um, so we can keep going through here. Yes, these are all your portraits. Nice, 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 uh, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know how many are here. Oh God, it's a girl on a train track. And she's like, hey, I have a sheer dress in the snow. And we just moved to the other side of the train track so the background's different. Anyway, your photos are nice. I do like the feel of the images. Uh, you probably could do better by separating them into smaller galleries just because you've got portraits, but not everything is a portrait. This is more like an engagement session or something along those lines. Let's look at the commercial. Beautiful. That is beautiful right there. This is nice right here. King can. I don't know what the difference between the king can is. So very nice commercial shots. And it, it's nice. Oh, right. Uh, here, here's a word of wisdom for shooting, um, for shooting watches. 10 and 2. 10 and 2 is the, if you look at a watch ad, 
you're going to see that it's at 10 and 2, the two, um, the two, uh, the, the two hands. You're going to see one pointing at 10, one pointing at 2, because that just makes it look better. Uh, so that's a, a word of advice that you will see. Very nice commercial shots. There's only a couple here, but they're very solid. I do like that. Down here, we've got your email, but this should be clickable. You need... The, Squarespace gives you this easy option to put something clickable down there to contact you. Phone number, fine. You want them to call you. But having your uh, Facebook done like this, they offer those icons. They offer icons. Look, I've got my icons. i got my mail. i got my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram. So utilize the buttons. Squarespace has that. I should have gone. I'll, I'll go find it and, and maybe add to the video. But it's there. So definitely use those options. And then let's get to who I am. Who I am. Matthew Bessignotti. Hello, thank you for taking the time to visit my page here. I'll tell you who I am. Well, of course, we're on your Who I Am page, so you don't need to tell us who you... You don't need to say that again, who you are. You know, I can offer you as a, photo a photographer and bring my... to Blah, blah, table as an assistant. I like the photo there, by the way. Um, that works out. Uh, let's see. I am current second-year college student who's studying creative photography here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, A. With a passion for photography and to strive for excellence... I promise to put my heart and soul into every image that I capture whenever it's personal or for clients. So are you looking for clients here? Again, I'm not a big fan of saying I am a second year college student. You're a photographer any way you slice it, so own it. Own the fact that you are a photographer. Nobody needs to know that you're a student right now. Um, I would also on here say I do offer my assist. I'd like to be an assistant or let's see. As a photographer, I've experienced working top-of-the-line equipment such as Nikon FX cameras, lens, Hasselblad's, Bron Colors, Speedatrons, and Visitech. As an assistant, I have worked hard hand-in-hand -hand with college professors and distinguished industry professionals. Okay, so I would split up um, assisting. Hey, are you a photographer looking for assistant uh, assistance in doing X, Y, and Z? I am capable of doing this, that, and other. I've assisted these huge people. Uh, and I love assisting because it's also fun to see how other people work. And then I would also add the editing thing. You're an editor. Well, then I want to know that, hey, I am a, a skilled editor, so I can touch up your photos if you're a photographer looking for something. Or if you're just a client who wants your photos being touched up, I can do that based out of uh, Brampton, Ontario, 23 years old. I don't need to know how old you are. And nobody else does need to know how old you are either. So I'm going to leave it at that. Just you know, get those buttons working here. It's it's really simple. So you, why don't I take a pause here? I'm gonna go figure out those buttons real quick so I can show it to you on the screen, and then we'll wrap it up. Hold on one second. So here we go. Let's go into the editor here on my site, and I'm gonna go to settings. This is Squarespace Seven that we're looking at, and I'm going to go to social, connected accounts because I've connected Instagram, Facebook, Twitter email and say I want to get rid of Instagram from here. I just go here and I hit show icon and I hit save, gone. I'm going to refresh the page here and then boom, just a moment, it's gone. So no longer is Instagram showing up on the page, but I want it back. I hit save. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page and then Instagram is back there. So you can simply go ahead and hit connect account. You can see all of the different accounts you can connect. iTunes Store, Spotify, SoundCloud, Google Play. There are so many different options for you to connect different accounts that allow people to follow you on social streams. So when we go back to his website here for Matthew's site, he can just simply add all of these things as social buttons. Maybe not the phone number, but every you know it should work with this template. And if it doesn't, I would switch to a different template, especially to show you uh, images larger. I mean, I like the way that his site is. It's clean. I don't think he needs to change very much. I think it works very well. Um, but those are just some little changes that I would make, especially those social buttons, making these clickable, because I'm not going to sit here and copy this and then go ahead and paste it into something else. I'm not looking to go ahead and do that. So that's one thing, one suggestion I have to say. So guys, this is Squarespace. You know that I use Squarespace for jaredpoland.com which I didn't type in very well. And this is it. Uh, if you want to try Squarespace out for yourself because it is a simple and easy solution for building a website for yourself, getting a portfolio easily built and being not just built, but being freaking effective. And the best way that I can say for you to decide whether this is for you or not is to try it out for yourself because Squarespace is giving you a 14-day free trial. No credit cards needed when you sign up. You just go ahead and play with it and decide what 
what you think about it. And I know the majority of the people that try it end up using it because it is so freaking simple. Because I know that when I was looking for a solution to make a website and I had to call a developer and then I had to send them changes and then they had to wait two days to make a change that I could have done in 12 and a half seconds to, to add a new gallery takes no time. That is really why I use Squarespace. Not only that, but it's freaking affordable. So if you go ahead and take your 14-day free trial and you decide that Squarespace is for you, go ahead and use code FRO when you check out and you'll get 10% off your first order. So that means 10% off your first month or your first year. And if you sign up for a year of service at once, they will give you a free domain name. So where I have jaredpoland.com, if a domain is available that you want, you'll get the first year free, which is going to save you another 12 bucks uh, that first year. So check out Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com slash fro. I want to thank Matthew for sending in his uh, Squarespace site to be critiqued. I did critique it and I sent him an answer. Remember, I did ask for people to send in their critiques. And if you do a trial, if you're doing one of the 14-day free trials, I will critique your website. But it has to be sent to me before your trial ends. So send that to jared at fronosphoto.com. And the subject line has to say, critique my Squarespace with trial in parentheses. Since those are time sensitive, I will get to those first. Now I'm working my way from the first ones that came in that were the regular Squarespace critiques all the way to the last. And like I said, there's a thousand of them and there's still more coming in. So it's going to take me time because I spend a good five, six minutes on each uh, response that I send back to you guys. So there you guys have it. That's another Squarespace rapid fire critique. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.